AI is everywhere. We hear about it on the news, in our jobs, and even conversations with our family. Clearly, it is here to stay, and it will have a big impact on our foreseeable future. If you're anything like me, I'm really fascinated about all these new technologies and how they work. So in this video, I'm going to give you a roadmap of how you can learn AI in 2024. Let's get into it. There has been a lot of hype around AI since ChatGPT was released back in 2022. However, AI in its current form has actually been around for quite a while now and actually dates back to the 1950s where the first neural networks were invented. The recent explosion can be attributed to many things such as increased computer efficiency, better algorithms and just more data. But regardless of the reason, it's clearly is here to stay and we should get used to working with it on a daily basis. The AI we specifically refer to nowadays is actually something called generative AI, which is actually quite a small subset of the whole AI ecosystem, as you can see on this diagram. Gen AI, like its name suggests, are just algorithms that generate stuff like text, audio, video, and even code. Models in this area are trained on millions of rows of data and can contain billions of parameters like Meta's Llama 2. The sole goal of these models is just to generate stuff that it has seen before or has been trained on before. And that's kind of where the generative aspect comes in. For this video, I'm gonna assume that AI equals Gen AI because that's what most people mean when they refer to AI nowadays. There are also many no code and plug and play AI solutions out there. But in this video, I want to give you a roadmap that specifically teaches you how AI actually works, not simply just how to use it. You may be wondering why even learn AI at all? AI is still in its infancy and there is so much more to explore and learn. That's why all these big tech companies are investing so heavily in AI research. So if you're someone who has proper knowledge and skills in this area, you can be very valuable in the job market. It's slightly similar to what the internet was back in the late 90s. People who are early adopters and built things on the internet back then became incredibly successful in a lot of cases. And I think AI is kind of in a similar place. Even though it may be a slight bubble, the tools and skills you can learn from AI are invaluable. If you really want to understand how AI works under the hood, then you must know some basic maths. Fortunately, the maths you needed to understand how AI works is not PhD level. A lot of the maths you get taught in your final few years of high school in most countries, and only a few topics that are probably needed are maybe undergraduate level. So don't worry too much about it. It's really not that difficult type of maths that you'd be learning. In general, there are three key areas in maths you should learn. The first one is linear algebra, which is all about matrices and how matrix operations work. These show up everywhere in AI. The second one is calculus. Calculus is kind of the reason or how AI algorithms actually learn. And the third one is statistics and probability. This is just to describe the probabilistic and stochastic nature of AI algorithms. Now, AI and data science are very similar in terms of the maths you need. And I've done a whole separate video explaining the exact maths, skills, knowledge, and resources that you need for data science. So I recommend checking that video if you want a complete breakdown. However, I'll give you an overview of the key concepts you need to know in this video as well. The key things you need to know for AI is matrices and matrix algebra, differentiation, particularly partial differentiation, linear, logistic, and polynomial regression, and all the various probability distributions like normal, Poisson, gamma, binomial, just the most common distributions. This knowledge should be sufficient for you to gain that basic intuition of how AI is working under the hood. The two best resources I recommend to learn the following maths is Practical Statistics with Data Science and the Mathematics for Machine Learning textbooks. These resources should cover all your basic maths need, so I really recommend you go with them. Python is a language of choice when it comes to anything AI or machine learning. Most of the machine learning libraries are built with Python in mind, and it's a very easy language to pick up if you're a complete beginner. In terms of what you should know, you should basically just understand basic Python. Things like variables, data types, data structures, classes, functions, you know, etc. 
just basically anything that you get taught in any intro to Python course. And in terms of courses, just pick any intro to Python course, like I just said, because they'll teach you all the same things. The main point is you just pick one and you get going with it. After learning the basics of Python, I then recommend learning some of the more AI or data science specific packages like NumPy, which is to do with matrix operations, Pandas for manipulation of data, and Matplotlib, which is all about how to plot and visualize your graphs. Regarding IDE, there are so many options out there. The most popular three are VS Code, PyCharm, and Jupyter Notebook. For a complete beginner, I really recommend Jupyter Notebook because it's really easy to work with and intuitive. Not to mention, it's really good for visualizations. When working on AI projects, you'll probably use SQL at some point. Fortunately, SQL is a lot easier to learn than Python because it's a lot smaller language and it's a lot more intuitive. The things you should learn are just all the basic functionalities. Things like select start from, distinct, alter, create, update, order by, group by, mean, mode, and all the different types of joins like left join, right join, and inner join. Regarding resources, one platform I've been using quite a lot recently to upskill my SQL skills is LearnSQL.com who are kindly sponsoring this video. They have over 65 interactive courses on the website in a variety of SQL flavors, like Standard SQL, MySQL, PostgreSQL, and MS SQL Server. Each course is focused on hands-on exercises to real-world problems, and is entirely web-based, so you don't need to worry about any additional setup. The courses are broken down by difficulty, so they're suitable whether you're a complete beginner or a seasoned expert. They even offer a completely free trial, which requires no credit card information. LearnSQL.com have recently rebranded and redesigned their whole website to make their learning experience even better. In celebration of this, they're offering 75% off their All Forever package, saving you up to $450. The All Forever package gives you lifetime access to every course on the website and any future courses that may be released. If this interests you, then I've left a link in the description for you to check out. As we saw earlier, Gen AI falls under the whole machine learning and deep learning umbrella. So it's well worth understanding the basics of machine learning before moving into the top tier AI algorithms. Machine learning falls into two categories. The first one is supervised learning, where we have our target data in our training set. And the second one is unsupervised learning, where we don't have labels in our target data set. The diagram on screen here demonstrates a split and some common algorithms in each category. The best course I recommend for machine learning is Andrew Ng's machine learning specialization. This is the course I took back in 2020, and to me, it's by far the gold standard of any machine learning course. One algorithm I really recommend you understand is neural networks. Neural networks are the backbone of deep learning and also all the big Gen AI models we have today. For neural networks, the key things you should understand is forward and back propagation, activation functions, and the different neural network architectures. To use machine learning and neural networks in Python, I really recommend you learn the following packages. The first one is scikit-learn, which is like the main machine learning library in the whole Python ecosystem. PyTorch, which is the most popular library for building neural networks, and it's actually the library used behind all these big AI models we see nowadays. XGBoost, which is really good for tabular data, maybe not so relevant for AI, but again, it's a really powerful machine learning library. And finally, TensorFlow, TensorFlow is another popular neural network building library. Even though PyTorch is a bit popular, TensorFlow is still used and it arguably could be a bit more easy to get going with. After learning the fundamentals of machine learning and neural networks, it's now finally time to dive into all the cutting edge AI algorithms. Until recently, the whole AI landscape was dominated by two models. The first one was convolutional neural networks, which are basically designed for any image recognition task and anything to do with computer vision. The second one was recurrent neural networks, which were used for anything that was sequence-based data, like time series or natural language. However, in 2017, a paper released called Attention is All You Need introduced the transformer architecture, which has since superseded both recurrent neural networks and convolutional neural networks. Today, the AI landscape is completely ruled by transformers. 
They're the algorithms behind ChatGPT and DALI, which are things you probably use now on a daily basis. Transformers really are the state-of-the-art algorithms that are powering this current AI revolution, so I recommend you really understand how they work. To begin, I recommend taking Andrew Ng's Deep Learning Specialization course. This is a follow-on from the Machine Learning one, and it covers all the cutting-edge algorithms, like recurrent neural networks, convolutional neural networks, and it even touched upon large language models. Then I would take Apathy's Neural Networks Zero to Hero course on YouTube. The course starts off a bit slowly by getting you to build your own neural network, but in the last video, you're building your own generative pre-trained transformer, which is like the gold standard of AI algorithms nowadays and is the algorithm behind ChatGPT. There are also so many other aspects well worth knowing in the AI space, like vector databases and word embeddings, reinforcement learning with human feedback, retrieval augmented generation, also known as RAG, LLM fine tuning and prompt engineering, and also understanding how cloud systems work so you can deploy your AI applications at scale. The space is moving so fast, so it's really hard to list every single thing you should know. But the things I just mentioned above should be universal and should cover all your basics. Like anything in life, to get good, you have to practice. And like the famous investor and entrepreneur Naval Ravikant said, it's not 10,000 hours, it's 10,000 iterations. So you have to put the reps in to get good at AI. So after acquiring all this knowledge, it's now time to start working on your AI projects. Don't worry too much about the project you do. The main point is that you just start one and you start moving. You can always change your project idea or tailor your project later down the line. Some ideas to try are a language translation application, an email or social media spam detector, or even a personal productivity tool. The point is, it doesn't matter what you choose, but the main thing is that you build something. Basically, all you have to do is just Google AI projects and just pick one you like the look of. There are two main AI tools in Python that make building AI applications incredibly easy. The first one is Langchain, and it's basically, like it suggests, it's like a whole encompassing framework for building large language models and it abstracts a lot of the things for you, so it's really, really easy to get started. And the second one is Hugging Face. Hugging Face is more of a community, but Hugging Face has and stores all the big AI models you can use. So all you need to do is do an API call to Hugging Face, and you have access to state-of-the-art models right there. With these two packages, you can prototype so quickly, so there's really no excuse to build a really simple application after watching this video. I hope this roadmap has given you a good overview of all the key points and key resources you need to really learn AI. I've created a short PDF summary of this roadmap, which I'll link in the description below in case you want to check it out. Also, if you want more data science and AI advice like this, then make sure you check out my weekly newsletter, Edition Data. I send it every Monday morning, and it's all about my thoughts and experiences as a practicing data scientist. If that sounds interesting, then again, that's also linked in the description below for you to check out.